Well, there's an endless variety of sushi out there. Here are four types of fish you are most likely to encounter at a sushi bar in the U.S. Yellowtail, or hamachi. This is a member of the jackfish family, which derives its name from the yellow stripe that runs along its body. At a quality sushi bar, yellowtail may be referred to by its wild name. Wild meaning the fish isn't farmed. There are various names for yellowtail based on the season in which it is caught and the size of the fish. Tuna, or mogoro. The tuna family can include everything from bluefin to albacore and skipjack. Cuts are separated based on their fat content. There is lean tuna, medium fatty tuna, also known as chutoro, and fatty tuna belly, the beloved butter of the sea, or otoro. Otoro only comes from bluefin. With tuna, generally, the fattier the better, and usually the fattier the pricier. Sea urchin, better known as uni. Uni is like the ice cream of the sea. Though technically speaking, it is the gonads of the male and female sea urchin. It has an acquired briny flavor with a creamy, somewhat slippery, melting texture. Some of the creamiest uni in the world comes from Santa Barbara, while more flavorful varieties exist in Hokkaido, Japan. It may sound intimidating, but I assure you, it's delicious. Salmon. In America, salmon is one of the most popular pieces of nigiri. But in Japan, the fish is usually served grilled and not eaten as sushi. Salmon can be wild, caught, or farmed, and comes in a handful of varieties. There's Atlantic salmon, Pacific salmon, coho salmon, sockeye salmon, chum salmon, and Copper River King salmon. Click here now for other videos like this. So for me, it's just an amazing feeling. I get to share with people. That's how I get to connect people. I get to, sh I get to make sushi for them.